WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we have some volatility to the downside. Markets starting the day off dramatically in the green, and from there we've traded mostly to negative territory. You now have the Dow at negative 81 points, trading at 24,342. S&P is currently negative by four, trading at 2638. And the NASDAQ hanging on to positive gains, up 23 points, trading at seven. 1043. Got some action in gold, trading at 1249.40. Oil up 67 cents, trading at 5166. And some strength in the dollar, up 232 ticks, trading at 97.410. Let's jump over to the futures markets, take a look with three hours left to go in the trading day. And we'll start things off with the Dow, and there's your downtrend. So you get the Dow down about 80 points right now, but we are now 450 points from where we were at the opening bell. Pretty remarkable. Trading, basically, we'll call it 24,800 right at the opening bell, and we're now trading at 24,352. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story. Early this morning, up there at 6,800. We're now a solid 89 points below that level, trading at 67.10 in the NASDAQ 100. S&P is trading lower for most of the trading day as well. 8.45 this morning, we're trading at 26.77. S&P is now 40 points below that level. That's a solid 1.5% in the S&Ps from where we were just at 9.30 this morning. Gold contract trading at 1249.25. We were up there at 1255 early in the session, call it 5 a.m. Eastern time before gold pulled back a bit. Some volatility in crude oil as well. We spike above $52, hang there for most of the early session until about 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time this morning. Then you have crude trading back down to 51.71. And Bitcoin, put this on a daily chart for some context. Been quite a tough month for Bitcoin, trading from 6,300 on November 14th, and now 33.62, drilling that into a five-minute chart. Some volatility, but pretty tight trading range, 3362 in the price of Bitcoin. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Then, of course, we'll have Dave White live at 2 o'clock and Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Should be an exciting few hours as we wrap up this market. And to summarize again, S&P is negative 4, Dow negative 80, and NASDAQ positive by 24, 24. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now.